Hello again, Evan Pinion back with another knife review, and this one's going to be on the SOG Trident. This is the original SOG Trident. I do have the Trident Elite, and uh, I guess I should be doing a comparison video later. Um, but uh, this is a pretty nice knife. Um, the Elite is better, but this one's not, not bad. Um, you have Zytel handles and a tip down tip up sorry reversible pocket clip a safety here a nice big lanyard hole by the way safety here should put it back uh, it's red on the inside that means it's ready to fire so you push up on the dual thumb studs the assisted opening takes it the rest of the way you have a nice three and three quarter inch clip point it's flat ground. This one's partially serrated with the titanium nitride coating. And it's made out of AUS-8. Um, it has a thin blade to it. So it slices well and it's easy to pierce with, but it could break. Um, and it locks up with the piston lock which is a spring-loaded bar up here in the handle that rides the back um, problem with these knives is there's always some up and down blade play and this one's no no exception it has some up and down blade play uh, it has some jimping all along the handle uh, some jimping on the back of the blade not very effective but the ergonomics pretty much keep your hand locked in, and there's that, you know, digi grip patter pattern to it, and it helps out. It's pretty lightweight. There is some uh, steel liners here that give some rigidity to this groove cut out back here, and the groove is meant to be used sort of to cut, you know, rope or webbing without having to open the blade and the blade the main blade is used as the blade for the groove otherwise it's a pretty lightweight knife big but lightweight um, it's not a bad knife at all could be better uh, the like I said the Trident Elite I think is a much better knife I think it improved upon this quite a bit but otherwise, not too bad. Anyway, that's my review. Thanks for watching and God bless.